So you just built your brand new site, but where do you deploy it? How do you deploy it? And can you deploy it in 90 seconds or less? We'll see. What's up everyone. If you're new to the channel, my name is James Q quick and I do weekly videos on web development related topics on this channel. And this video specifically is sponsored by Cloudflare and more specifically by Cloudflare Pages, which is their new setup for hosting static sites. It's really quick and you'll see how easy it is in here in a second. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take about 90 seconds to show you how this thing can deploy a site super, super quickly. And then after that, we'll talk about some of the details of how it works and some of the setup. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I am logged into my Cloudflare account. I'm going to go to uh, pages and I'm going to go to create a project. And what we'll do is we'll select a repository. In this video, I'm going to select my YouTube for developers repository, which is the landing page for my ebook link below if you want to check it out. So let's go to begin setup. What we'll do is we'll say this is the project name. We want the master branch. And then what framework are we going to use? Now, usually I fumble around with trying to remember what commands to use for what different framework. Thankfully, Cloudflare has you covered. I choose next, a static export. It will run next build and next export. It tells you which directory the output is gonna be in. And then I click save and deploy. Now this thing is going to go out to my GitHub repository, grab all of the code. It's gonna run that next build. It's gonna run the export. So it's gonna have those static files ready to go and have my site ready in under 90 seconds. We'll give this a few seconds to finish up and we'll take a look. Uh, so this thing is fully deployed. Let's go ahead and continue to this project that has been created. Uh, we look in here, it gives us this YouTube dash for developers dot pages dot dev. So this is, it's going to take the name of your projects and then add dot pages dot dev on the end when you host in Cloudflare pages. Um, alternatively, I actually like this a little bit better because other platforms like Netlify, for example, give you this completely random name and then you have to go and change it for something that you want. So I like that this thing lets you uh, take this domain uh, that makes a little more sense. Anyway, I click on this. And hey, there is my website, Developer's Guide to Starting a YouTube Channel. Make your resume stand out. Here's what you'll learn. Here's what it's done for me. Build tutorials yourself, testimony, FAQs, all that stuff is all here and good to go. So that stuff deployed, let's, let's say two minutes almost total from us actually selecting the repository from GitHub, having that thing fully deployed. Now I do wanna take a second, like even though that was super fast, I wanted to show you how quick that was and then also go back and cover some of the details of what's going on. So if you want more information about Cloudflare pages, it's at pages.cloudflare.com. And you can think of this as uh, it's a Jamstack platform for front end developers to create and deploy websites. Well, you've seen a couple of these options before. I mentioned Netlify as a big one. Uh, there's a few others. Cloudflare just released their pages uh, functionality maybe in the last month or so. And you just saw how quick and easy it is. So it mentions in here, grab your repository and, and go. So I've got in GitHub, I've got my YouTube for developers. Let me pull this repository up. YouTube for, maybe I need to search myself. James Q quick, see if we can find this link. There it is, YouTube for developers. So this is a Next.js project. Uh, what it did is it pulled that source code and then ran that build that you saw. So I'll give you a link to this in case you wanna see the source code and see what that's like. But when I configured this to reach out to that repository, it grabs all of that code, it runs that, um, it runs that build, and then hosts this on uh, Cloudflare, which is already really optimized for speed. And you can see how quickly that thing loaded after I had it up. Now, a couple other things I wanna show you in here. As you do deployments, actually, let's take a look at this. I've got the source code pulled up, and apparently I had some a couple of changes that I'd made, some small ones that I'd made a while ago that I forgot to update or forgot to actually push. So let's look for, want to see this, you're a strong communicator. We're making that bold now instead of not bold. So let's go and search in here, not the real one, but the newly deployed one uh, for communicator. So this thing, so what I want to do is see that these things are now bold after I push these updates. So let's do um, uh, bold points, whatever, and then go ahead and push that. So I've got some shortcuts in here. GGP is pushing that code out there. What should happen now in Cloudflare, again, just, just as you would probably hope and expect, it realizes that that thing, uh, the code was pushed. It now is pulling that master branch and it's doing a build. So we can go and watch this again. It's getting the build environment ready. It's getting the repository, it's building it, and then it's deploying it, uh, redeploying it again. So we'll take a few seconds pause. We'll show you what that looks like just to show you that after you get this set up, 
done, all you have to do is push code and Cloudflare takes care of the rest. So we'll pause a second, come back and see that here in a second. All right, so it looks like that thing has finished. It should be deployed again. Let's give this thing now a refresh and these statements should be in bold. So we just do a refresh. Haven't done anything other than push code. Cloudflare pages took care of the rest and now we can see that our changes have taken place. How easy is that? It's exactly what you would want and expect as a developer from a developer experience perspective. So anyway, those are uh, deployments. You can see individual deployments. You can get preview links if you look in here. Even if you go with other branches, that's pretty sweet too. You can set this up with custom domains. So if I wanted to bring my YouTube for developers domain over here, I could do that in this domains tab. Go to the settings tab, a few different things in here. You could rename this project, which then becomes the URL for your project. You can add other members if you needed to. There's analytics, there's access, uh, a few different cool things in there. And then lastly, uh, there is your environment variable. So if you need uh, some sort of variables uh, to run during your build step, so you need an API key or something like that, you can do that uh, right in here and have that ready to go. So it's only used on the build. It's not in your front end code. So you're still good to go from a security perspective. So that is Cloudflare pages. Again, you can deploy your sites in about 90 seconds. And then we took some extra time to talk through some of the other details of how it works and what the setup is. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what your favorite way to host your site is. And when you give Cloudflare pages a try, let me know that in the comments below as well, how easy it was hopefully for you as well. So thanks as always for checking out the video and I'll catch you next time.